Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel, Deb Chanel's 48th World. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button now or after the video has played through its entirety. Make sure you like my videos, which is a big plus for me, and sharing my videos. But I like them all. Subscribe, share, like my videos, and definitely comment. Hey, just found this new site. And I love to give people chances, just like I love for people to give me chances to check out my stuff. We have a new vlogging site. It's called popularsuperstars.com. You can find them on that website or Facebook, I think, is where they initially started. And they just give out basically entertainment news, such as any other format like we do on YouTube. Just to name a few that I do watch and get a lot of my stories from. Um, you can compare them to like the Jasmine brand, um, Lil B. Scott, and even like Black Star America or Blackstar.com. Uh, they basically are the same. They're just like a magazine issue type format where they advertise entertainment news. Uh, just like OK Magazine, Essence Magazine, they're giving you entertainment gossip. So, I don't really know how reputable they are at the time, but they are definitely serving up some hot tea, okay? That ain't nobody else got at this time, all right? So that kind of sparked my interest. The story we're going to be covering with them, they brought out. I got about a few more because I've been browsing through their catalog of entertainment news. And like I say, don't know if there really are a legit reputable site to, you know, quote and get information from. Uh, so I'm going to put all of this stuff. It's like allegedly because like I said, they haven't been out that long and I don't know if the source of their as, as a, uh, advertisement is, you know, credible. Uh, <clears throat> so everything from this site is kind of take with a grain of salt or compare them to media takeout news. You know, they're a reputable box site, but they have been hit in the past. We're not, we're putting not truth or no, not true stories out there for us to partake of. So <laughs> we'll see how their journalistic skills get down going forward, okay? By bringing it on my uh, platform and discussing some of their articles that they've written up on celebrities, okay? Because they're all, it's not like feel good type of uh, philanthropy or Good Samaritan type articles they write. They strictly, in addition, dirt on celebrities and how they're entertaining us out in these streets, in these social media streets, okay? Whether you get it from the websites or whether you get it from uh, on TV, your news uh, casting, broadcasting systems, or you just basically see them on newspaper if you get, you know, if you're dated and like, <clears throat> dated in age like that. Because, <clears throat> like I said, we got AJC. They still running newspapers here and there. People still subscribe. But most of the people are kind of uh, tech savvy now. And they like to find everything on their phone or on their computer. And that's where we primarily get the news other than radio plays. Okay. But we're going to go into the story that they wrote, honey. The topic of discussion that's trending on Facebook and on uh, popularsuperstars.com website. They saying Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia is pregnant again. And they're quoting it as a rebound baby. <laughs> and that's funny. Now, hey, it's out there. I don't think it's really true, but it could be. In the words of uh, George Wallace, if you don't know who I'm talking about, Google him. He's a comedian. He usually hang out with Tom Joyner and they I think he was on their show as a commentator as well giving his entertainment news in his comedian type way or you know just telling it in uh all his stories he have on entertainers and he's telling the stories through uh comedy so uh he his little slogan he always used it ain't true but it could be <laughs> And that's just about anything that any of us put out there. We're all getting it from different sources and we're trying to put our own collective spin on it and, you know, try to build up our channels. And we do, or at least I can say I do look for uh, information that is credible, sources that are credible. 
So I won't be putting out, you know, stuff that's not true. But I'm just giving my opinion about what I feel about it. Since, you know, it was interesting to me. And instead of me talking to myself about it or waiting until I meet up with some good friends, or I like to call them family members. I want to talk to somebody. So I choose my YouTube family. Okay. Get down in the dirts and talk with y'all about things that bother me. Or I have to say, hmm, oh, or mm-hmm, that type of thing. And spread my opinions around. Okay. But anyway, the article was written by Amy Rose. She wrote it on, <coughs> well, excuse me. She wrote it on July 14th, which I don't know where it's coming from because we were wrote on July 14th. Had a day, it's just July 13th, which is Saturday. So maybe there's a time difference we're looking at. I don't know. But anyway, I'm interested in the time. But let me just tell you what Amy Rose wrote about Portia and Dennis McKinley. It goes on to say, you'll never guess what we just learned. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams is pregnant again. Source have confirmed that Portia and her fiance, uh, Dennis McKinley, are expecting another baby and that they are extremely happy. Now, just a few weeks ago, the couple made it to their women. Just a few minutes, just a few weeks ago, the couple made it to their rocky one year anniversary as a couple, and they are already expecting their second child, honey. And that's where they lead at. They put that at my door. And they say, honey, you could take it or leave. It's piping hot. You can drink the tea or you can defer. <laughs> you can defer to pick it up later. But hey, I just thought you would be the first that I bring it out to. You could take it with a grain of salt. You could believe it. You could put it allegedly, however you want to put your spin on it. But here's the news, breaking, breaking news. Okay. So I don't know what to take it. I'm going to be like Chris Brown. I'm kind of undecided with this. I would love to uh, entertain it and take it and, and run with it and give you all of my pros and my cons. But I don't want to get too excited because that's just hot tea that's unconfirmed, literally. So I don't know. Maybe she's going to show us a little something, something that make us think back if we think back to my video. Huh, that was put out on you. So is it kind of true or is it not? You know, maybe she'll show us in the upcoming uh, episodes uh, for season 12, Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, coming back this fall, I think it is. So we'll see, honey. We'll see. But I thought it was interesting. <laughs> I really did. I'm like, wait a minute. This man don't set up him. Allegedly, don't bought you a restaurant. Okay, the hot dog king. I wouldn't be trying to take nothing from that joker, especially when he's throwing his little ping pong everywhere out here on these streets with these ladies. Okay, tattooing their names and calling them on the download, chatting and all that kind of stuff. And what I hear on those streets in social media world, she has taken him back and they're trying to work it out. But I'm like, I don't know, Porsche. That's when you married. And you are already done took your vows in front of your loved ones and, and, and your special friends and God. You know what I'm saying? But y'all ain't even made it to the altar. Y'all ain't said I do. So none of that really counts for you all. Okay? You can lie, cheat, steal, and everything else in a relationship. But you're not married. You may think you're in a committed relationship. He may think he's in a commi committed relationship. But your actions show different. So I don't know. I'm going to keep this on my undecided radar. I ain't gonna say it's true. I ain't gonna say it's false. I'm like George Wallace. I don't think it's true, but then again, it could be. Okay? We just don't have all the answers. We don't have all the information. So we're just like peeping through them bushes and trying to make a, a educated guess on whether it could be. And we just keep pressing the gas and add on to the store. Not really embellishing or anything like that, but just bringing more attention to the story. So I'm going to keep this on my back burner, but let you know, let people know the damn Chanel right out the um, excuse me, superstars <clears throat> popular superstars com dot com broke it out. I broke it out to y'all too. But I, I say just don't, don't unpack it. Don't unpack it. Keep it packed. Keep it sealed. But when it do break out, then start talking about it. Be a present from me to you. <laughs> and then we can start really putting the gas on Portia to see what in the world she keep getting herself into. We are we already know she had that one failed marriage. She ain't even said I do to Dennis McKinley. And we already have red flags being thrown on her plate 
on trying to plan on getting married to this man. Okay, this year, I think it is. Uh, and at, right after Christmas, coming into the new year. I'm like, pop your brace, Portia. Pop them, pop them, pop them. Because that's a baby daddy. He's still out there. You know, uh, how um, Tony Braxton's mom said, um, what she said? Something about going low and spreading it wide. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Woo, yes. Uh-uh. No, not a good look in my image. And my head is giving me and not coming out my mouth. Spreading it wide. What she said, spreading it low and wait a minute. Spreading it low. Uh, getting low and I don't know how she put it. Somebody put it in the comments if you can. But it was something like getting low and, and spreading it wide. Something like that. She was saying her ex-husband did to her with another woman that was close to her. I want to say one of her closest friends. But anyway, so you ain't got no friends out here. Like I tell my daughter, you either put them in the category of being family. Or you put them in as being someone you mess with, but you don't really like them on that level or don't trust them on that level. They're either going to be your friends. I mean, sorry, not your friends, your family or your foes. You know what I'm saying? Or your family or somebody you just mess with, but you don't tell them nothing about your life and how you get, really get down. They don't know the real you, in other words. So those are the two categories. You can, how I, I live my life. If they're good friends to me, they've been down with me from day one, they ain't friends, they family. You know what I'm saying? They are my extended family. Other than being biologically born into a family, I can make people that have been down with me and, and probably some, some better than the ones that are in my family that I have to call family because we're biologically uh, intertwined with each other. But mm -mm, you either family are you not? <laughs> you you just somebody I like spending time with, but because I find some likes in you, but not enough to call you my family. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I get down. Thank you for coming to my channel, exploring this new uh kind of um vlogger that's coming out, dishing out some real good stories of some real good entertainers. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's gonna be from uh the comedian world, the reality world, or people that are definitely uh, solidified themselves as at true actors and actresses. And they got their claim to fame on different movie roles and uh, different many awards, accolades they've gotten bestowed upon them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like it, love the information. But like I said, I'm kind of undecided whether it's true or not. All right. But it could be true. Anyway, y'all take it easy. Come back for more commentary on my show, my station, Dev Chanel's 48th World. Please subscribe, share, like my videos. Okay. Thumbs it up, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you next video. Bye.